Howdy, all you auto hockey people. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a quick video on uh, GUI and how to add a menu bar to the top. I actually was surprised I haven't done one of these yet, so it's really easy, but it can be very helpful. Uh, before we jump into all that, show you the code, show you in an action, I did want to bring a two updates. Don't forget this weekend, Friday, at the time of recording this video, or sorry, Saturday, we are going to have the first Auto Hotkey Con. I'll have a description in the below showing you kind of what we're going to be talking about if you want to sign up for a reminder or receive the Zoom link because this will not be live stream. Uh, but the videos will be broken up into categories and then released a few days within a few days of the filming of that. So, <clears throat> The other update is my IDE, if you didn't see that video, once again, I'll have that in the description below. I've been, just for the fun of it, I've been creating an IDE uh, for auto hotkeys. It's completely made in auto hotkeys. You guys are giving me great feedback. Uh, you know, there's still a ton of work to be done, um, but just to kind of give a quick update on some stuff I added. Uh, version 2 now works in here for the most part. Um, so you can go here for the drop down, go to version 2. And as you see up here, it changed to version 2 mode. And basically all that really does is change all the commands that are available. All these links work. I haven't really connected any to any YouTube videos yet. Um, I also added line counting. As you can see, it's adding lines as I go. And then, you know, you can just run version 2 here. Uh, another thing you can do is push this little IN info button. And <clears throat> that's going to tell you how many lines of code you have and then any hotkeys you have. So if you have a hotkey like F1, it'll show that. See, F1. But the cooler thing, too, is if you want to say, like, what this is, uh, this is, you know, test run, we'll call it. Uh, you can click that, and it will also display that information so that you can associate that key, a hotkey, with what it's actually doing. Um, so, yeah, just that's another little feature I added real quick. You know, you switch back to version 1 if you want. And you're good to go. Uh, samples, I think I had that. Uh, what was the other thing I added? Actually, I have my change log here. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so I think since the last time I did that, uh, I was able to eliminate about 1,000 lines of code because I found a little bit of a better way that I didn't think to do. Uh, all the V2 commands are there. <clears throat> uh, if you click tab, when a... So before it was if you typed in like message box, down here you could click on this and it would autofill the rest of it. Well now you can just click tab and it'll auto do that too, kind of like how a lot of the other IDs work. Um, so it'll autofill that for you. Uh, the other thing is uh, you can now save settings before if you had like auto jump off. It'll remember also which version you were using last if you were in version 1 mode or version 2 mode. It'll go back to whatever you were doing last. And the big thing is I changed the name of the ID. Originally, it was just called Tab Nation IDE because that's just what I put in there for now. But I think officially I'm going to be calling it now Auto Hockey Playground. So that is going to be the name. <clears throat> Obviously, syntax highlighting will come out eventually. Uh, syntax highlighting is not too hard. I'll do a video on how I did that. Uh, it's just very time-consuming because I have to sit there and put every command in and decide what color I want it to be. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any other ideas or features you want to see in here, let me know. Once again, uh, another description, so many descriptions in this. Um, I will have that in the link below to download the executable if you want to start playing around with it. Uh, you know, give me uh, feedback, that would be great. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into what the video is actually supposed to be about. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> we'll start with the GUI, I guess. So, here's the GUI. So, all I did is in the first line here. Um, you can put it wherever, really. Uh, it's GUI, comma, menu, comma, whatever you want to name it. I just named it my menu bar. <clears throat> Real simple. But you can name it whatever you want. You can name it, you know, uh, my bar. You know, it can be whatever. And then just a comment uh, for the video showing you that this is where that code is. <clears throat> so it's calling upon my menu bar. So you want to put these before your GUI because if you were to put them after, 
it would hit this line and be like, oh, this doesn't actually exist because it doesn't exist yet. It hasn't hit that part of the code. So you're going to want to put the menu bars above your GUI. <clears throat> so here's the first one. So I just got three. So it's pretty simple. Menu, my menu, or whatever you named it. Add, because we're going to be adding it. And then what you want to name it, file, samples, about, and then where's it going? So let me show you that. So as you see right here, we got that bar at the top, and we got that file, samples, and about. So for, we'll, we'll just stick with uh, doing one example. We'll do the file menu. So this is where we're going to go. If you put this in here, the um, little uh, dots before it, that's basically saying that there's a menu, there's more of a menu instead of me just clicking file and it going to you know some part of my code we want an actual drop down menu so we just called it file menu and as you see it's up here <clears throat> so once again it's basically the same thing menu what you're calling it add and then what you want to name it so like this one i named run and then i just put a, I, I put a bunch of spaces and i put f1 uh, because there's a hotkey f1 that will do the exact same thing here now when we click this we don't want it to do another menu. We want it to actually go ahead and run the code that's associated with this item on the menu. So you're basically doing the same thing. You're putting whatever your handler's called, but you're not putting those adult dots in front. So this right here, uh, run now, is basically just going to jump down here, and it's going to run all this code here. And so that's how that works. I should have kept the control F open to get back. <laughs> there we go. Now, if you want to put line breaks in, kind of like uh, as you see here, there's a little line between this section and that section. Hopefully it shows up on the camera. Uh, it kind of looks like okay. But if you want to put a line break to kind of create sections within that menu, all you got to do is the same thing, but don't put a handler or what you're calling it. It's just menu, file menu, whatever you're calling it, <laughs> and add. Sorry, my allergies are kicking my butt today, apparently. Now, if we want, we can even do another menu. So as you see right here, uh, actually, we'll do this one right here. Same thing, everything is the same. But as you see, we're putting those dots there. Well, that's just creating yet another menu. So uh, a sub-menu. So version 1, version 2. As you see here, we go File, Change Version, and then we got that little sub-menu with version 1, version 2. But there's no dots, so it's going to jump to this part of the code in my script, and this one's going to jump to that part of the code in the script. So yeah, that's pretty much really, I think, all there is. Like I said, it's super simple, but it, it just adds so much to your GUI to have these nice little drop-downs versus having to create buttons all over your GUI for people to click that they might not be using a lot. All right, so that was a quick introduction on, you know, just something like that to kind of up your game in your GUI. If you have any questions, obviously put them in the description below. I'll try to help you out with those. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do. I'm throwing one, two videos, sometimes three videos at you every single week. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. See ya.